What's up YouTube? In this video, we're going to go over lateral lunges and skandhasana variations. If this is your first time here, maybe give us a like on this video or possibly subscribe for future updates on the channel. So let's get started. We're going to begin with a closed chain hip mobility exercise. Now I know that sounds complex, but it's really easy. Let's take our legs apart. I actually want you to take your hands on your hips opposed to the rest of this video where I will not ask you to do that. And we're going to just guide the hips around in a circle. And we're looking for spots that are kind of, I don't know, feeling iffy off special. It's hard to describe the feeling. Think of your hip, right? As a bowl, the socket on each side, and then your femur bone as a stirrer or like a ladle in a pot. And then as you move around, it's like you're stirring the pot on each side. Let that thigh bone move around in the hip socket and look for spots. That's what you're doing. Looking for tension. And when you get to a spot that feels a little off, go slow, iron it out. Try to figure out where the tissue is confused. And you might hear a popping or something. Just go slow and regulate, mediate. All right, let's move this into the lateral lunge. So we're going to go into a slight no handed mid range lunge. Keep your hands off your hips, go down to a comfortable position. Your feet are probably somewhat parallel to the floor. And you're just doing what's attainable, what feels safe. You're not going for it. Three to five rounds. If it feels like you need to micro adjust in your feet, that's okay. Let's do that. And the lateral lunge is pretty much that you don't want to go too much lower without an adjustment in the feet. And that's the end range or what we call in yoga skandhasana. So in Skandasana, the side I'm bending, I want that foot to kind of align with the knee bend. So when I come down end range, and only do this if you feel comfortable, if not stick with the mid range, but at least I'm in alignment here. And I'm able to take that knee over the ankle. When I go to the other side, I might turn this in and this out a little bit. Same idea, knees tracking over the ankle, finding that Skandasana variation and going slow. This is not easy. And noticing I'm just trying not to use my hands. If this is too hard, we're back at the lateral lunge. Back and forth. Another thing I like to do is a circular action because you're not so square. We just tend to think that way. So like down and around through the lateral lunges and eventually skandhasana, if that's your jam, kind of like Spider-Man getting really low, like a superhero. That's kind of what you're training for, right? In yoga anyway. Okay. So this has all been done with uh, no load. We're not really, uh, taxing the body with extra weight, but that's where we want to go. I'm going to encourage you to take a few breaths here, inhaling and exhaling 3d breathing, right? Fill it up, exhale all the way out of the mouth. Maybe keep it in the nose, slow the breath, try not to hyperventilate. I'm going to move on to the loaded versions. Now for my yoga sculpt people, you can use weights. Uh, the two weights together, holding them to, uh, as one, or I have a kettlebell here. It's 15 pounds. Um, I encourage you to use a weight that you're comfortable with, but this is progressive loaded stretching. And that's the idea. You want to progressively load the stretch. So when the weight you have becomes, uh, too light, you progressively increase that. And that would be up to you. So I'm going to grab this kettlebell. And already I'm, I'm feeling challenged by picking it up. So my body has like a new layer turned on immediately to support it. 
And we're gonna go right into these lateral lunges. And I'm gonna do two or, two or three, back and forth. And you can slow it down. Remember, this is a mid-range exercise. Okay, this is where it'll now get tricky. Because if we want to move to Skandasana, you're going to have to take it to a deeper range. We're going to want to go really slow. And you might not want to use such a heavy weight. Or you might want to start with less weight, really depending on you. So I'm going to set up lightly, slowly down. I want to find skandasana, try not to rest. My arm on my leg with power coming back up with control. Small adjustment in the feet. Same idea, I'm down and with control. And I'm struggling. This is not easy. I could take the foot up, down. Find control, hold the stretch, no pain here. You have control. You've already mastered the non-weighted version. Maybe one more round for fun, right? Coming across, slow. Back up. Other direction. <sighs> Intense. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna stop it from there. No weight. If you need a couple breaths, again, inhale, three D breathing, exhale through the nose or the mouth. Try not to hyperventilate. Okay, the last sequence or movement pattern, it's something I like to call the goalie save. Because besides the split, it just reminds me of a goalie save in hockey. Simple as that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come into this position for the lateral lunge, but we're gonna be ready to roll over the back ankle, eversion, so I can take the shin flat. Now I'm not gonna, twist anything it's internal rotation at the end so i'm going to go slow to show it to you i'm going to come into the lateral rolling over that ankle notice my foot is lifted it's not flat back up so it might take a little time for the mental composition to come together everting like rolling over eversion on the ankle and then coming back up if you're not strong enough to do it in your knees yet, it might look something like this. Lightly coming down, slowly learning to roll over the big toe. And then as you get stronger, coming down, right? I could think of it like goalies making a save. I hope you get the picture. And this is a lot. This is a lot of that same positioning of the lateral lunge. Now we're just doing some internal hip rotation let's take a few breaths here inhaling and exhaling through the nose inhale maybe the first one out of the mouth the second one inhale through the nose again exhale through the nose try to repeat this slow down any hyperventilation i hope you enjoyed this lateral lunge series with the bonus skandasana and goalie save my name's Jeff, this is Yoga Framework. Thanks for watching.